Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mushoku Tensei episode number 7. Alright, the previous episode uh, was an extremely normal slice of lifey happy episode and uh, we saw like um, Rudeus uh, doing uh, the, like his job properly, uh, having a normal life, having fun, having you know kind of like having a good time and like as he said like this is the first job of his life not in this world uh, of his life that means like in the previous world and this as well so it's kind of a big deal for him because you know like he is earning money for himself for the first time so yeah like uh, like i'm happy like for him like he has like is, is doing the stuff that he was unable to do in his previous world so ah all right so like yeah and um like Eris is, is i i can say he she has you know calmed down not as much but still like she was kind of you know uh a little bit like a too much of a sundra in the first episode that he was in she was introduced but even though he, she beats her beats him up she's still you know a lot more calmer talks with rudius kind of like you know listens to him like that is the main thing you know she listens to him like the things that he says and the way he is you know trying to teach her uh like uh the stuff general studies and uh, magic stuff like that she listens to him so like that's a big thing you know because usually uh like uh, like people like her usually you know has this kind of a big inflated pride they usually do not you know uh, like want anything to do with someone else and doesn't even listen to him or her she's not that person like thankfully so yeah like everything is going all well and good so let's see what this episode brings the previous episode was all slice of lifey so let's see if this episode is similar or it has some kind of like developments happen or not so yeah, without further ado, let's get started with Mushoku Tensei, episode number 7. Alright, so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Whoa, damn! <laughs> the animation clean and smooth. Woo! She has improved a lot. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Okay, let's <laughs> Oh, it's snowing. I did not notice that before. So time has passed, you know. Uh, uh I don't know like we don't have any visuals for the opening of this show. Is it something like that or <laughs> you see this like this is what i was saying that she understands and tries her best all right they are still needing the obviously they need the incantation what what am i even saying Okay, I don't know what problem she has with Rudius. Um. All right. One thing I'm noticing, Rudius is growing up, you know. Oh, Roxy figurine. <laughs> As always. <laughs> oh God. 
Who is this? Consult. What? Oh, all right. Um, I t <laughs> mm. okay. Yeah, um, yeah. Oh, all right. So she's saying that they need more time. He's like, oh my God, I can get free time. <laughs> and I'll still get the money. <laughs> Like mines. <laughs> All right. <It's... laughs> okay. East God. Oh. Ah, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, good. Battle God, Demon God. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, obviously, you know, because his brain is still like a 30 year old's brain. Oh. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. Oh. Roxy can oh but Roxy is not here. Okay, she's not happy about dancing. <laughs> um Yes. Oh, okay. Well, only he is there to convince her. Like, I doubt she'll listen to anyone else. <laughs> yeah, it's your birthday. Okay, this is, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, you know the regret that guy keeps piling on. Yeah.
Well. Yeah, that is a majority of it, you know, like being able to do stuff that you were unable to do kind of gives you a, like a sense of accomplishment and it also helps you later on. But the effort is, <laughs> oh my god, the effort is the main thing that you have to put in, which is the difficult part. Yeah, come. You'll help me. I doubt Rudius can I doubt Rudius can dance as well like she also cannot This is <laughs> She just threw him <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, she's uh, he's learning the beast god language. Okay. Wait, is he like trying to sell the figurines? <laughs> oh damn, one gold coin. That is a lot. Like he can, you know, do this to earn money. But oh no, obviously he needs to, you know, learn the swordsmanship. Oh, what is this? Nanda kore wa? What? Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. Oh, he's eight. Okay. And here's the guy. Come on, burn him off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was saying this like, uh, Like Roxy knows it, but how can she help from this distance? Oh, okay. All right, he she wrote it, and <laughs> oh wow, it kind of circulated. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, I, I don't think she wants that, <laughs> but oh well. Okay, they can kind of do it, but... Tomorrow, oh my god. Yeah, the time is quite short.
Wait. <laughs> okay, so. Damn, the feast! <laughs> wow, Rudy's looking amazing. <laughs> the granddad. Whoa. She's looking extremely different, you know, with the hair. And obviously, Rudius is also looking so different, you know, with the hair. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I, I like he she is, you know, quite responsible. Like I doubt she will do anything that will like at least Wait, what? Oh, who the hell are you? Oh my god, I I I, I... Eris, I doubt Eris can dance properly, like, she can kind of do it, but still has difficulties with it, so, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, is, oh my god, this is, you know, quite... What the hell? Well, yeah, Rudius has like practiced with her, so. Damn, he's sweating. Okay. Oh, okay, I never noticed this. Oh, okay. I was thinking like she can, was kind of dancing before with Rudius, but why? Yeah, all of the people. as if you're dodging an attack what uh. oh oh <laughs> okay don't open your eyes or if you, even if you open your eyes, do not, you know, think about the others. Okay. Well, no clapping. What? Wait, what happened? Why is no one clapping? Or are you not supposed to clap? 
Oh, there you go. <laughs> I was thinking, like, what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, that's one thing she can do extremely well. Ah. Uh. <laughs> wow. Okay. So she can. He kind of, you know, like explained it in a way that she can understand. <laughs> the smug face. Um, I'm 30 plus years old. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> like, like, what the hell are you saying to eight year old? Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> she wants a figurine. <laughs> oh, oh yeah he, she she's also a mom, you know a teacher for her oh oh, <laughs> oh okay <laughs> I I knew it she like she was <laughs> saying it in a synonymous way or what is it called synonymous no in a uh, in a symbolical way Oh wait what 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 was that? Was that the meme sound? Hmm. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> what? Oh. Oh my god. All right. Oh, wait, what? Wait. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> All of these people are like Oh, what is that? Not a bad thing. Oh, okay. What the hell? That looks like some kind of a black hole or whatever. <laughs> I don't even know what to say for that statement, but Rudius has some, has some, you know, unique imagination. Like, when you see something like that in the sky, who would have, who would have even think something like that? Rudius. Like, the first thing that I, when I saw it, I was thinking like, what the hell is that? Is that some kind of a, you know, black hole or whatever to suck each and everything up and destroy the whole world or something? But Rudius, he is something else. He thought, ah, like, let some, you know, <laughs> R rain fall from the sky. 
Oh my god. All right. So that was good. Ah. Uh. All right. So all right. So this was also a lot of slice lifey elements had and um like what was her name? Uh, Eris and Ghislaine uh, kind of got a present, uh, the graduation present, not the like you know the final graduation present, the, but the present that you know when like Roxy gave him uh, that she said that I forgot to give you. So that present, obviously they have a lot more to learn. So yeah and like i'm guessing uh one year or i'm not sure like almost one year have passed since rudy has come here you know because uh it was kind of uh uh fall in the previous episode wasn't it okay uh like in the previous episode it was fall and in this episode it's winter so i'm guessing like one year or almost one year like like got completed and there are like a lot of time left and like i'm saying this because i'm really enjoying this you know the like you know the the time they're spending uh with like all of these like new characters like more even more than the previous time when like they were well, rurius was with paul and uh like zenith and uh Silphiet. i like i'm enjoying this portion even more than that i don't know why obviously because of eris <laughs> sundre antics and the her character is extremely you know uh like <clears throat> quite <clears throat> what can i say like energetic and it kind of gives like you know makes you happy uh looking at uh the episodes that she is in she makes it enjoyable and she makes it more you know exciting the episodes and <laughs> and so that's why like you know I, I, I can say like this anime is like structured in a way where you will get you know small portions of like a small portion of that uh, the whole thing with Roxy then small portion with Sylphiet and now this is with Eris and I was thinking like maybe after a few episodes like the five years will pass and he will move on to his next goal which I'm guessing is the school uh, the uh, or magic academy whatever that is I'm guessing it is that is his next goal obviously because he is like earning money for Sylphiet and himself so like uh, after this i'm guessing it will be like again like him and sylphiet and they will i don't know go to the school together or whatever something like that will happen so like obviously like uh, it will kind of rotate like this so i was thinking like uh, i'm really enjoying this you know this portion of the anime so i was thinking like <laughs> like just like like lengthen it a little bit more because i want to you know watch more of this so and <clears throat> okay so this episode we saw um, rudius and eris uh eris the main problem with eris is that she, like the whole thing with the dancing is like uh she was unable to understand it in her own way which again rudius simplified it for her he kind of knew that the you know the way Eris acted the way she used to like fights so he kind of you know related that with this dancing and explained it kind of in her own in his own way to uh, Eris and said that you know where like I'll do this kind of counting you just close your eyes and dance and when I'll like say now you will just use that feint so like in that way in that like in her own way she kind of like was able to dance so yeah like this is the thing that i like uh, like that should be always done you know uh, like try to make people understand the way they uh, find it easy to like uh, for example um, i'm just taking a, like making a guess if someone likes something for example if someone uh, likes a particular type of food so say someone likes pizza uh, quite a lot uh, so like if you were teaching him like arithmetic or maths you should always like take an example with that for example you will just say that you have five pizzas uh, you bring two more so how much will you get like this you know this is the way to properly like make others understand the things that they like they will easily uh, be able to understand if you take examples of it so like I, like, I can say one thing that Rudy <coughs> is extremely you know intelligent and he he's a good teacher 
like he can like in the previous episode i also saw he was uh, like doing this whole thing with the maths where he went outside and he was you know like making practical using practical things to teach them uh like maths so like that way like he is really doing it qu quite well and like that's also the reason why like eris is <coughs> was able to do the whole dance and not embarrass herself even further so yeah and now <coughs> one thing the way they were treating uh, the whole thing like eris and the because she cannot dance one thing i can say is that eris does not have a good reputation because the way they were treating her or maybe not i don't know like, or maybe the people are kind of you know uh, like this uh, kind of critical about small little things like she is just 10 years old so, so like the way they were judging her was a little too much in my opinion but obviously like this is some kind of a medieval or like an uh, like a setting so i'm sure like royalty have uh to be you know prim and proper obviously they are kind of royalty because she like uh, uh like he's a mayor of the whole place so obviously because she is a royalty she like you know there's this whole thing with royalties should always be able to do each and everything perfectly from a small age that's why they like do so many things you know uh like horse riding gardening uh piano and uh, well, like a, a lot of other things dancing all stuff like this like table manners from the age of you know, like something like five or six they are doing it because they have to be you know royalty they has they have the reputation to keep so i'm guessing that was the reason why everyone was kind of uh like <clears throat> berating uh, eris when she was unable to dance properly but it kind of went well later on uh, when like <clears throat> Rudis kind of like helped her and also uh, like we, we can see that she was kind of nervous in front of the, these whole people like always oh, that's like you can't blame her for that like there are like so many people like all of them adults standing looking at you and judging you for your uh, like the things that you're doing like who wouldn't get uh, nervous at that moment so yeah and <clears throat> oh and also like rudius is starting to learn languages now roxy i was not expecting roxy to like write a book and send it to him like i was thinking like the only demon we know is roxy so like how is she going to help rudy so this also kind of works you know like uh writing a book and sending it to rudy so yeah and yeah that was it nothing else we can see in this episode like um oh another thing like i really do not understand like does the mom like uh eris's mom like, like i don't know like she looks kind of pissed at rudy i don't know why like she <laughs> she is, seemed pretty affectionate towards Eris, so uh maybe i don't know like <laughs> who knows like all the people in this house are ex like of varied personality like the dad is extremely light-hearted calm but also i'm guessing as at least gets quite angry whenever something happens like to her his close ones he's that type of character you know like closed eyes characters are kind of like that like they are calm and steady on the outside but has this fire going out uh, like going inside his grandfather is uh, her grandfather is on the other hand extremely loud extremely um <laughs> like kind of sundre so uh, kind of similar to eris eris as you can see is obviously like sundre and um her mom i i don't know what like like what like she is about like she is like she seemed quite affectionate towards Ares and all, like kind of okay with the others, but does not like Rudy at all. So yeah. <laughs> oh boy. And 
Oh, and, and in the end, like, in the end, what was that? Like, they, it was like, I don't know what that was. Like, it was like a pink ball. And the grandfather says, just to say, his granddad says that, but I hope it's not a bad thing. Rudius asks us, why do you think so? Because it's better that way. <laughs> Well, okay, so uh, looking at it, it looks like a, not pink, but an orange, like an orange and black mixed kind of uh, ear with two rings around it, which is something that I really do not think is good, you know, because usually... <laughs> if a structure like this like starts floating in your sky i think it's a pretty big deal isn't it like uh i don't know like as i said before like it, it looks looks like a black hole like it, it seems as if like it might like, start sucking the whole universe in from that so i don't know like usually structures like this floating in like in the middle of the sky is not good news so ugh. Like, I don't even know what the hell this is. Anyways, but Rudy thinks that it will, <laughs> like, start raining. Uh, what did she, he actually say? Just a sec. Make us rain from the sky. <laughs> okay. And, yeah, so we really don't know what that is. And, um, I, like, I at least think that it is not something good. You know the way they're kind of taking it lightly i don't think that it is something that should be there and i i think that is bad news so but what do you even do with that you know that's like in the middle of the sky like ah what should you do even with that so who knows anyways and <clears throat> yeah and uh the thing with uh like when uh rudy was uh talking with uh eris uh, when Eris said that um, I like I don't want to do it, so why should I? Now here's the thing: like this is extremely, you know, uh, kind of uh, interesting as to like the question Eris asked Rudy um, is kind of the thing that he suffered from in his original world. You know, the thing that like like he is here and trying to convince Eris to do the things that she can do and that she should do otherwise she will regret it the reason behind this is his own experience now you know uh, usually in matters like this for example the matter that rudy kind of suffered from the bullying matter now like you know uh, bullying or stuff like this or when you start getting in yourself inside a shell when you start getting into it, it's extremely difficult to break out of it. Like once you get in, even if you think that, oh, I should probably get out of this situation. I should probably try to like break out of this uh, mess. You cannot do it. Like it, uh, it's like a black hole. It like, like, you know, pulls you in and you, it does not let you go outside. So like, I'm sure like Rudy in his original world, like many times he must have thought that like let me just you know break out of this whole mess and start uh, like new again do stuff properly again but he could not do it because he was too far gone so obviously here in this world he can start from the beginning so he is doing each and everything like the like he, he has changed his methods he is like making an active effort to not repeat the things that he did in his previous world so that like he does not like start so that he does not start getting into that hole again so yeah like <laughs> that is the thing like you know no one wants like in messy situations that rudy fest faced in his original world no one wants to you know become a shut-in like there's this whole thing with the like you know in a lot of animals we see like shut-in hikikomori like you know the neat kind of like people kind of joke about this like the whole hikikomori situation people not getting out of their house and stuff like 
<laughs> like it kind of you know became a trope like uh, in like anime world where like each and every light novel uh, like each and every isekai protagonist is like a hikikomori like there was this whole like kind of it's becoming like that but still like uh, the thing like like that is not good like the person who goes through these things are like the most affected so even if he or she tries to get break out of that shell they cannot break out of it because once you get into that like uh, like safe uh, shell once you like you know get inside your house and decide to like not get out again you won't be able to get out it's extremely difficult so that's why ruby said that you should always you know do something that you won't regret like that, like always do something that uh, so that you will not regret it later on which is obviously something that he you know he is the best who can say that like he is the best person to say that because he himself kind of suffered from it so yeah and like eris is like eris is also kind of like you know rudy like she like she's kind of like she's soon there she's kind of like loud and you know like that is something that she uh does but like apart from it like the way she was acting in today you know extremely like meek and extremely uh like fearful of the others like nervous in front of the others that's like rudy so in a way they are similar so obviously rudy uh, has experienced all of this before so he knows the best uh, way to kind of motivate her so yeah and like like that's good like you know like he himself is changing and he's also like uh, trying so that the other people he knows also does not start walking the same path that he once did and that's good and yeah all right so yeah guys so that's it that was this episode and <clears throat> excuse me and uh, we kind of got to see Roxy again in this episode and um, I'm guessing like we'll see Roxy like this like uh, in like episodes one or two episodes uh, like uh, you know occasionally so okay like uh, I don't know when they will meet again probably when Rudy grows up or something and starts going to school or stuff who knows because like you know Roxy is the only one who is like because like rudy can go and meet sylphiet when like when this time like the uh tenure of five years comes to an end she'll go back like she'll he'll meet sylphiet again uh, similarly uh with eris eris is kind of her his relative so he can also go and meet her but i really don't uh, like know what he will do with roxy like roxy is like the you know uh the wizard like uh, the mage who is uh, like uh, traveling the world and like doing her own stuff so i really don't know how they will meet again or will he even get an opportunity to meet her again or not but she's like the main character i'm guessing so i guess they'll meet again who knows anyways uh we'll probably see that later on but yeah so that was this episode this was um uh mushuku tensei this was mushuku tensei episode number seven so yeah, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and be sure to comment down in anything you want to say or anything you want to like, uh, like uh, comment, I'll be sure to check them out. So, so yeah guys, um, that's it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll be back with another episode of Mushuka Tensei next week, same time. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.